Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC North America. Today, I'm with my buddy Randy. We're going to talk Jurgens. We're going to talk Matsura, and we're going to learn a bit more about how the flexibility, precision, and rigidity of this Matsura machine has helped this 80-plus-year-old com company create success and more precision or increased precision on their jaws. So I am so excited to share this story. Randy, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Yeah, you're welcome. So, we're talking about flexibility. Let's get into that first. You have 32 pallets. You have a whole bunch of tools in this thing. How has this helped you with an average batch size, I believe, of five, right? So the flexibility of the machine itself has been fantastic for us. But the 32 pallets has allowed us to put different products. We have five different components in there at any given time to be able to do the, the vices. Matter of fact, the vices that are actually holding the products in here, they're making those products. So we're making it to hold it, and it's, just, it's fantastic the way that works out. The 32 pallets allow us to go through, though, the biggest thing that allows us to do is, is the flexibility to run during the day as well as in the evening unattended. So if you go through, we're averaging probably 40 hours a week of unattended runs. So the operator sets it up, he's done for a shift, he goes on home and the machine keeps on running for another eight hours on average every day, which is absolutely fantastic. Well, COVID has been a thing for a lot of people, right? So mm -hmm. speaking of COVID and speaking of flexibility of having that operator be able to go home nights, weekends, that kind of thing. How has Matt Sir supported that part of, of the Jurgens manufacturing as well? Well, you know, it's interesting because we, like everybody else, struggle through some of the COVID issues from time to time and, and people being out. But the thing is, the machine is so simple, honestly, to run once you've been able to do some training on it, that other people can come in and set up and running. We had our supervisors, we had other operators come in to help to set this machine up on the weekend and set it up for unattended run. So we're getting additional hours while the, in the past we would have had lost that entirely. The other thing that's allowed for us, though, is we've actually changed over our shifting strategies and we've added a 3-2-2 shift. So basically what we're doing now is we're running seven days a week, at least 12 hours a day. So the machine itself is keeping up with that and then now we're getting those Saturday and Sunday runs as well, which has been, once again, fantastic for us. Well, when we're talking about 32 pallets and an average batch size of about five, which that's the flexibility of being able to switch out, you know, different mm -hmm. different pallets there. We also, also have to connect that with the tool change, right? And you guys that's have... It. I want to say around 320 different mm -hmm. tools in that tool changer? That's correct, there's 320. What that has done for us, it really has helped us out a lot because what happens there are that 320 tools that allows us to have all the tools we need for any of the products we're making. So when you're going from one job to another, you don't have to stop and change out the tool and go back and forth. But more importantly, it allows us to set up redundant tooling. So we got a secondary tool, a tertiary tool set up in there. So during that unattended run time, if the machine itself, or I'm sorry, the tool hits its, like, its wear point or if it ships out or something like that, it can automatically go and grab that next tool and continue running. It takes that one pallet, puts it away, brings the next pallet on in, you keep on running so you don't lose just because a tool wears out or a tool breaks. I love that. I love hearing that type of story because all of it combined together. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about precision now. Mm -hmm. Jaw lift. Let's talk about the importance of having that precision working on your parts on this 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week process. Oh, absolutely. We're holding very, very tight tolerances here right now. And that the precision, the capabilities of the Matsura are absolutely wonderful. And it's helped us out a lot. And for us to be able to achieve, what, well, basically our customers right now are asking us and requiring of us to continue to make better and better products tighter products, the no jaw lift. So when they crank those jaws tight, the, the jaws don't kick up at all whatsoever. They, they require that from us. And the, because of the precision and the accuracy of this machine, we're able to go through and design very, very tight products that are capable of doing that time and time again. Not just while the operator's here, but all night long. We're getting that same level of precision. All of us are constantly being pushed in the direction of tighter tolerances, aren't we? I mean, oh, we're talking absolutely almost sub-micron at this point, based on some of the parts that are going out. And with Jurgens being around for over 80 years, you guys are a leader in the industry of work holding, mm -hmm. but constantly we're all trying to do better. That's a great story in itself. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And it is, you know, it's one of those things that, that Jurgens has always tried to stay on that cutting edge. So customer requires it. Not only when the customer requires it, we're, we're trying to stay a little bit ahead of the game as we go, trying to be that world leader in those type of things. But once again, you have to have sound, fantastic really equipment to be able to do that and then Matsura has fit that bill for us exactly. Well there's a lot of different options when it comes to Matsura but one of the things that I hear uh, iterated over and over and over again is the fact that the pallet chain system and the machine itself is one machine so it always communicates with each other without any hiccups. Do you find that it's really easy to communicate with each other as well? Oh absolutely. You know when you start looking at you know a lot of other machines we've got that robot on the outside loading and unloading the machine and it works well for, for a lot but it's another integral component that you have to figure out how is that going to happen 
if something goes wrong with it, what are you going to do about it? We have no issues whatsoever. With the integrated pallet system right there, it works every time. We've never had a hiccup on that at all. And Randy, we all know the saying. You could probably say it along with me if you wanted to. Sales, they sell the first one. Service, they sell the rest. Yep. So how is the service when we talk about Matt Sir and your local distributor of Yamazon? Well, the local distributor, Yamazon himself, Rick Brown has been our sales rep, and Rick has been there every step of the way. From the time we first called, said, hey, what's going on? What do we need? He's been there asking questions. What else can I help you with? If we have any issues whatsoever, we can call Rick, and he's just, if he doesn't answer the phone, he's calling back inside of 15 minutes. So he's been fantastic. With Yamazon itself, I'll give you an example. One of our products that makes a pyramid, and the pyramid itself has really very tight, true positioning between what's on the bottom and what's on the top. We got about 97% of the way there with our program and manufacturing. We were like right on the right on the outer edges of the tolerancing, couldn't quite get it. So we called up Rick, and Rick would point us off to Demitsura, and uh, Leo Erler helped us out. So Leo actually came down from Minnesota, came down here to walk to see the application, to walk through it, to make some suggestions on that, and he continued to support us on the phone from that. And with his help, we were able to nail it exactly. We've kind of touched on flexibility. We've talked on precision, which is incredibly important. We've talked on the jaw lift and the accuracy of the Jurgens product, the history. We talked a little bit about COVID and the ability to be able to run lights out. But what about the ability to be able to run multiple machines at the same time based on the flexibility? Well, you know, that's an interesting question because if you look at this machine and initially you look at it, it could be kind of complex and wow, one guy's got to be able to run this machine to stay in front of it all day, every day kind of thing. But actually, once you get the machine set up, it runs so smooth and so seamlessly, and, and the repeatability is so high that the operator that runs this typically will be running two and sometimes three other machines while this machine's running. So it has allowed our productivity to go that much higher, obviously keep our costs under control as well. I love it. Well, Randy, before you take my job, because you are way <laughs> too good at this, better than I am, I'm going to go ahead and close out by saying thank you. We at MTD wish Jurgens and Matt Sura continued success moving forward, and I really appreciate you sharing this story with our global audience. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate you coming here, uh, what Yamazan and Matt Sura have done, and, and seeing you here today. It's wonderful. Thanks.